It's my conviction that the best way to know about how early Christians worshipped, even what they believed, is to try to get as much information as we can about where they lived, what they saw, not just what they wrote and what they read. So I've been trying to look at the design of early built spaces for Christian worship, the ways those were decorated, to see if we can actually reimagine what it would have concretely and physically and materially been like to be a Christian at that time. What was the kind of ordinary Christian experiencing? The people who didn't read and write. Awareness of the design of the spaces in which this took place gives us a richer and more robust understanding of everybody's experience. The things that we think are so dominant in our understanding of what Christian art is and does and shows wasn't always that way. So even an image of Christ with a beard and a halo isn't something you see at the beginning. And that actually is a very illuminating piece of information. You know then something more about what they wanted to show you about who Jesus was. I work at the intersection of several fields, Christian art and architecture, Christian worship and liturgy, and Christian thought and theology. I teach a class in Christian architecture, and one of my favorite things to do with students is to take them to a variety of different sorts of worship spaces. And spaces have character, spaces have personality, and to think about how one's body works in these spaces, how we take in information about God or about prayer, um, it can be very different if it's brilliantly lit or if it's very dark. In ancient times, people didn't have a lot of choices. You know, they couldn't have a variety of experiences. So they maybe only had one village church that they ever went to from birth until death. And so they were formed by these spaces. One of my favorite assignments for my graduate students is choose three major museums and seek out works and study them and photograph them. And then they start to build their own database of images. And they've also spent time really examining real objects of art. And I think those are the skills that my students need as much as they need skills in library research. So a lot of what I want my students to do is to do what I always do, which is to get out there and really look at things and really attend to the visual world. When I first came to visit Notre Dame, I was bowled over by what I saw as an absolute commitment to interdisciplinary research. and. I can't think of any place that has as many resources for someone who does what I do as this institution with its School of Architecture, with its Art History Department, with its Fine Arts Department, with its Vibrant Theology Department, a medieval institute, an incredible research library, support and funding for interdisciplinary research. I mean, this is an amazing place for someone like me.